Hey, what's going on folks? It's Mike here and welcome to the next lesson in our modern C++ series. In this lesson, we're going to continue looking at the SDL algorithms library and we're going to be looking at set union and set intersection. So with that said, let's go ahead and visit the CPP reference page and we'll go down to the algorithms library. I'm going to go ahead and scroll us all the way down to our set operations here. And again, these need to work on sorted ranges here. Okay, so previously we worked on includes. You can go ahead and check that out. I showed you how to use a custom comparator for sorted ranges there as well. So that might be fun to check out. But today we're going to look at set union and set intersection. Now, before we begin, if you need just a brief refresher on set union, you can go ahead and Google this stuff, but it's basically taking everything from the two sets that we have. So for instance, if I've got, and we'll go ahead and draw this out, some container here, let's say it's a vector with one, two, and three, and maybe we've got something like uh, a list here with four and uh, five. Of course, we want these sorted. So let's do three, four, and then five, and then five as well. Well, the union of both of these uh, sequences, actually I'll be specific, because uh, that's how we're treating them here, so we can have duplicates, would be to take one, two, and three here, and three, four, five, and five, and basically get all of these values, okay, for our union. Now our intersection would just be what's in the middle here uh, for both of them, So I should have drawn this uh, three uh, in the middle here, uh, from this this side here, uh, and that'll be the intersection here, okay, when we get to that. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, let's start with set union, and then we'll look at set intersection as well. And there are some other uh, operations like set difference and set symmetric difference. I'll do that in the next uh, video in this series, so make sure you subscribe for that and stay tuned, but let's look at set union. Now what you're going to notice here, and we'll look at the C++ 20 version, which we've got a const expert version, is again, I'm just taking in a range which is specified from the first and the last. So that could be the entire container or just part of it, however you want to specify. Uh, the second one, and then I've got to write out to somewhere what that union is. Okay, so we're generating or constructing a new sorted union uh, from that first element here. Okay, and again, it is important that they are uh, in order for both of these collections. Why that is? Well, again, uh, if we look at this example here, this is going to give me one, two, three, three, four, five, five. I'll get the ordered uh, subsequence, I, I should say sequence, since we're allowed to have duplicates here, um, out of this operation. Okay, so that's the idea here. Now we've looked at the set data structure, which is different. That contains, for instance, um, you know, exactly one of something. Okay, so it's a little bit different here. Um, so I don't know, maybe they should have called this subsequence union or something. I don't know the exact, um, maybe if someone knows in the comments uh, what would be a more accurate way to say uh, for this, but that's probably a better name for this. So it's a little bit misleading uh, in my eyes, but again, um, maybe there was a better rationale for that. But anyways, that's the basic idea. And again, on the previous video in this series where I talk about includes, you can see how I write a custom comparator. And I'm not gonna do that today. We're just gonna take a look here. Now, as far as the complexity goes, um, well, if we look at the example that we have, we need to look through all of uh, let's label this as M and all of, let's label this as N. So, you know, we've got a linear time algorithm here. Okay. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and take a look here um, and some of the notes and then some of the code we'll do an implementation um, because yeah, some of you've noticed, um, you know, this is kind of doing similar things to other data structures, but also we do have this merge uh, operation here. Um, so with merge, let's see, we consume two sorted input ranges and produce a sorted output with elements. Let's see what the difference is. Okay. If you've come across merge or watched it on this series, um, it's with handling values from both input ranges, which compare equivalent. Okay. If an equivalent element appears N times in the first range, M times in the second, uh, merge would output all N plus M occurrences where set union would output the max ones only. Ah, interesting. Okay. So standard merge outputs exactly uh, the distance values and set union may produce fewer. Okay, that sort of makes sense here. Um, okay, so let's actually try that out. Let's let's have a uh, collection here that has multiple like fives in it or something. Uh, and let's see what it uh, produces. Okay, and I think that's similar to this example, right? We've got one, two, three, four, uh, three fives, and then three, four, five, six, seven here. Uh, and what is this gonna produce here? Uh, let's see, this is going to print out uh oh in this first example i've got one two three four five three four five six seven okay so this is prints out uh okay there's one five here one five here makes sense here 
This one's got two fives. Okay, this gives me all five. Okay, it is the union here. I see. Okay. But we should perhaps, again, uh, just get that definition in front of us of the difference between merge. I wonder... Let's see, is this expecting... Oh, I guess merge would give us uh, four or fives, where this is just giving us three here. That's kind of interesting here. Okay, yeah, sure. So that's a good thing to distinguish. Maybe that's why they um, call these sort of set... Because there's sort of one five that's uh, part of the intersection, right? So we don't want to double count it. So it makes it makes sense that we get the, the max here, uh, which is three fives. Okay, so that's the difference with this here. Hopefully everyone sees that, right? We've got three here instead of four. Merge, because we're using that in like merge sort or something, uh, would give us all uh, four of the fives here. Okay, so anyways, with that said, let's go ahead and try this out here. Let's include algorithm, include IO stream for output purposes. Uh, let's include vector. Let's spell IO stream correct. Uh, and let's use a list to write things out too. Again, just to show you some of the flexibility here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create a vector here. B1, 135, 555, uh, 7. Nine, okay, something like that. Again, just so we can see this example. Uh, vector two, uh, two, four, six, five, five. Okay, so just two fives. Just do something a little bit different so we can ask ourselves, um, you know, how many are we going to get? We're going to sort of get, we should just get four then, okay, if I'm understanding this uh, correctly, right, to the difference between merge. Uh, and then we want a list here, uh, which is going to be our output, okay? Uh, and let's go ahead and call set union. It's as simple as specifying the uh, iterators, the start and the end, and then uh, the other thing that we're going to union with it, which is V2 here, and then our uh, back inserter, okay, where we're writing this out to, uh, which is a list output. Uh, now, if I compile this, we are going to get an error here. See if you can see it. Test your uh, C++ here. Um, Here's the error, with the specific issue being, yeah, we can't, uh, you know, determine the, you know, with these ones, we have the type, so we can figure out the exact type, like class template argument deduction, uh, which is a nice CTAD, which folks will throw around that uh, <laughs> acronym here, right? We don't know here. Now, there are some fancy tricks we could use to probably, um, you know, figure out with decal spec at compile time what the type is, but I'm just simply going to put int here. Uh, and that should resolve the issue. So let's see, that should compile. Compiles, now let's just go ahead and output. Uh, we'll just use a simple for loop here. We'll look at all the elements in our uh, output here. And let's just go ahead and write them out, maybe with a comma. And I like to put an end line here. And pretty good, no intentional mistakes here in this lesson. <laughs> all right, so one, two, three, four, Five. Uh-oh, what happened here? Uh, what did I forget? Well, again, with these union operations, uh, they're not going to work here if we're not sorted here. Okay, so let's go ahead and sort those. So what do we have here? We have standard sort that we could use, or I think we could just get away with. Now this is, let's see if I make this mistake. I think if I just call sort on vector, let's see if I remember correctly. Uh, oh, it doesn't have sort here. What have I done wrong here? Uh, let's go ahead to vector. I thought I had a sort here. Okay, that's the first. I I got myself in trouble saying no uh, mistakes. Okay, there is no sort. Okay, <laughs> at least on, um, I think maybe for list there is. But we can use standard sort here. Uh, now, V1 uh, is sorted, but you know, let's just go ahead and sort it again. Uh, and again, you know, use your things that you learn in algorithms and stuff, um, or probably a programming class to say, you know, it's probably worth doing a check if this collection is really big, check if it is sorted before actually going through the effort of sorting it. Okay, now we're sorted. Now we should get the right number of fives, as I mentioned. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see, is that how many we had? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, five fives. I just didn't count right the first time. So, yep, that is correct here. Um, we get the max elements there. And actually, I can draw this out here uh, properly. Let's draw A here and B, or I'll say V1, V2, just to be very clear about this. One, three, and I'm going to put all my fives here. Five, 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 uh, seven, and nine fall here. 
and then two uh let's do it this way two four uh six now remember the this is getting sorted v2 so don't worry here and i'm just going to highlight five five here okay that's why we're getting the uh five fives here okay just so it's clear there Alrighty, uh, so that is set union for us. Now let's go ahead and look at our next uh, algorithm here. Get some more uh, value here in this lesson, which is set intersection. Okay, um, so pretty much the same story as before, except center intersection is just going to give us what's the same. Okay, now these still need to be sorted. Again, same rules apply, pretty much the same as everything here. I'm um, just trying to see if there's any interesting notes otherwise. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and now this example I did sort. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and try this. Uh, I'm going to write this as output number two. Instead of set union, we're going to do set intersection. Just so you can see the difference. Intersection. And we need to change our back uh, inserter to output number two. And we'll just go ahead and copy this here. Okay. Let's go ahead and just separate out our experiments. And this is from output two here. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the error section is. And it should be those fives, okay? Uh, which is exactly what we drew here, right? The two that overlapped here for our intersection here, okay? Um, so in truth, right, these these fives have nothing to do with uh, those ones, but they're the ones that, you know, appear twice. Um, so maybe actually this isn't a perfectly uh, accurate drawing, but, but again, that's how these operations work. It's sort of a looking at the entire sequence, which we can have duplicates, but only pulling out the actual duplicates in the, in the sequence, right? That intersect here. Okay. These two fives. All right. So hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully you get to see how these work and how they're just a little bit different. Um, and again, I wish they would have called this maybe sequence intersection, but I'm in sequence union, but <laughs> maybe I'm just misremembering my math or maybe there's a, again, maybe we just don't want to confuse this necessarily with the set data structure, which just allows one unique uh, key. Um, although I suppose that's not 100% accurate, right? When we say that we have, say, a multi-set, which, you know, maybe you've been screaming that at this point, <laughs> saying, Mike, you taught us about multi-set, um, because that is an idea. So, so maybe this is the right thing um, to actually use here. Uh, but anyways, folks, with that said, hopefully that makes sense on set union and set uh, intersection. You can think about what these operations are um, and use them as building blocks if you need. Uh, for instance, where you might use this as a building block is if you have v1, v2, v3, v4, etc. Uh, you know, you could use these functions to just kind of you know, recursively or iteratively call uh, and build out, you know, a full data structure of everything. So, for example, if you had like a job queue or something from multiple clients sending in data, you might not want to repeat jobs or just take the jobs that are the same, for instance, um, and process them that way. All right, folks. Anyways, with that said here, I'll go ahead and leave you with my uh, course page. If you want to go ahead and track your progress here, you can feel free to do that here or check out the other courses. And as always, thank you for your time and attention. I'll look forward to your comments below and see you in the next one.